Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to repair a broken start menu or search function in Windows 10. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, problem which rears its ugly head every now and then for Windows 10 users, and this is a problem with corruption of the start menu. So if you click on the start bar, or click on the Windows flag, you either get corrupted graphics or you get a blank screen, or you just don't get anything at all, it's completely unresponsive. This also relates to other items on the taskbar and also can be related to certain issues with the Microsoft Store not opening and not closing, or just basically apps not working in general, all part of the kind of the old Metro theme. So today we're going to take a look at how to fix it. It's uh, relatively straightforward to do. There's one command we need to run and a couple of reboots and you should be back up and running. So let's go to the PC and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so first of all, I should thank the, uh, the guys over at 10forums.com. I found this actually in the general support section for the taskbar or start button not working properly. And it's actually a very good resource. So I definitely suggest you pop over to the Windows 10 forums and take a look if you get any problems. Uh, good thing to bookmark it. There's always good stuff you can search for in the search bar. Uh, but anyway, so I've highlighted the, uh, the fix here. And this is essentially what you need to run. So you need to run this actually in PowerShell as a admin. Now obviously getting to PowerShell may not be quite as simple as you'd first think because you can't click on the start menu because that's not working. Search isn't working, basically your taskbar is dead. So what you need to do is do Control, Shift and Escape. And this will bring up Task Manager. So what you can do then is click on File and Run New Task. And type in here PowerShell, as you've seen I've done already. And also put a tick in here where it says Create this task with administrative privileges. So click tick there, click OK. And there we go. So we've got our administrator PowerShell up and running. So what we need to do now is copy and paste the information from here. So just highlight all of that. Now I will be putting this in the uh, video description so you can copy and paste it for yourself. And all we need to do is do control V or right click and paste and then hit enter. So this will take a little while to go through and essentially it's going through all the uh, application manifests and making sure that they're all correct. It will skip quite a few of them and you'll get some error messages as uh, that was good timing as they come in. So if there's things you've removed from the default Windows installation, it will actually just throw up an error message. Again, this will take a little while to go through. It actually goes through and fixes things like your uh, Microsoft.net installations and all that kind of stuff, the frameworks, which generally tend to be the, the uh, the majority of the problem for this particular issue. But anyway, let this run through to the very end and uh, we'll come back to it shortly. Okay, so when it gets to the very end, you'll come back and you'll have your command prompt there. So now what you can do is you can close down PowerShell, close down anything you've got open, and then just do a reboot. And you can do that by doing Alt, Control, Delete. Obviously, if your start menu is not working, you can do it that way um, by using the power buttons, all that kind of stuff. But after you've done that, you should find that your start menu will be working as it was intended to. So there we go. There is a, um, a relatively straightforward fix to an awkward problem, especially if your start menu is not working. It's amazing how difficult it is for some users, including myself. Uh, we've become so reliant on the start menu and all the quick access that sometimes we forget these keyboard shortcuts and all those other kind of things to actually open programs should it fail with the start menu. So hopefully this fixes the problem for you. If it does, leave a like on the video and also let me know in the comments section below if it helped you. Uh, if you've still got problems, again, put it in the comments section. We'll do our best to help you however we can. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.